Hey, bonjour les amis. Hello everybody. So today, 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 we're gonna talk about what is called le pronom, pronom, pronoun, possessif, Posse, possessif pronoun, pronoun possessif. So in English, it's like uh, mine, yours, etc. Okay, so this is the this is uh, a little piece of a bande dessinée, a French comic book, The Adventures of Chick Bill, the Cowboy. Cowboy, uh, that's a pretty famous uh, comic book. I gotta say, I don't particularly like it because it's the uh, American West. I don't know. I just don't like like it very much. But anyway, so let's look at this bubble thing. So let's read it first. Si, si, there's a comma here. Si, avant, 20 secondes, secondes. Kid Ordin, so it's the name of the guy. Kid Ordin n'est pas, n'est pas revenu. Jabba, Jabba le petit indien. Jabba le petit indien. Après 30 secondes, ce sera le tour de Chick Bill. So that's the name of the other guy, Chick Bill, the hero. hero. Après 40 secondes, ce sera le vôtre. So that's our pronom possessif here, donc ce sera le vôtre, shérif, and the, the other guy say, so those are the bad guys of course, uh, he says je compte, ok, so let's translate, approximate, pretty approximate, uh, approximately, so si, if, avant, avant 20 secondes, uh, before 20 seconds uh, have elapsed, it's not very clear avant 20 secondes, so before 20 seconds have elapsed, Kid, si, Kid Ordin is not uh, back, n'est pas revenu, is not back, hasn't come back. Jabba le petit indien, so abattre c'est uh, kill, I kill the, the little Indian. So here in this context, Indian is of course Native American Indian. So après 30 secondes, after 30 seconds, after 30 seconds, it will be the turn of Chick Bill. It will be Chick Bill's turn. And after uh, 40 seconds, it will be yours. So here it's uh, this one. Yours. It will be yours. And here it's the form de politesse. <laughs> So it will be yours, Sheriff. And this guy say, I'm counting. Je compte, I'm counting. Okay, so basically, ce sera le vôtre. Uh, if you don't use the pronoun possessif, you would say, ce sera, ce sera uh, votre tour. Ce sera votre tour. It will be your turn to be killed. So, ce sera votre tour. So, in order not to repeat tour, use the pronoun. So, ce sera le vôtre. So, notice the uh, circumf accent circumflex, the hat, to distinguish this is a this is an adjective adjective possessif adjective possessif and this is the pronoun possessif so to differentiate votre here ce sera votre tour ce sera le vôtre it's a slight uh, in, in spoken french there's a slight difference in uh, how you how you say it so ce sera votre 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 ce sera le vôtre ce sera le vôtre 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 okay so let's look at uh, 
Let's look at the possessive pronoun. Possessive pronoun in English. It's very simple in English. And I'm going to do a table because it's only depending on the uh, on the person. So if you look at uh, so uh, w when you have a possessive pronoun, you have the uh, you have to make the distinction between um, the one that that uh, that is in possession of the whatever, the one that possess, the one that possesses, and what is possessed. So, um, so if the one that possesses is first person first person singular second person singular third person singular so this is all singular here yeah? and then you have plural first person plural second person third person. So, in English, uh, so first person singular, so the I, so it's going to be mine. Mine. So that's mine. Second person is going to be yours, so it's mine, it's yours. Third person, there's a distinction, a gender, gender distinction, so it's either Masculine, feminine, is, hers. And plural, so that's the we, so first person singular is I, you, he, she, and we, you, they. Uh, so mine, yours, is, hers. So if you go to the plural, it's going to be ours, yours, and theirs. Okay, so that's... So in English, you don't make the distinction between uh, singular or plural uh, regarding whatever is possessed okay so but in french so if you go into pronoun possessif and you do the same table in french it's going to be quite different pronoun possessif okay so you have same thing you have singular first person second person, third, and then you have the plural, first person, second, and third. Okay, so this, so this is whoever possess, possesses, okay, so it's the guy that possesses. Then, so you have, uh, now th what I'm going to put here is whatever is possessed, so so you have to look in, you have to consider s uh, s singular, masculine, yes, that's going to be one, you're going to have singular, feminine, that's going to be another one, you have Plural, masculine, and then you have plural, feminine. So you have lots of cases. So first person, je, tu, il, etc. Nous, vous, il, elle. 
so singular masculine it's gonna be le mien singular féminine la mienne so plural masculine les miens and plural féminine les les miennes second person le tien c'est ce ti le tien la tienne I mean they are similar les tiens les les tiennes third person le sien la sienne les siens les siennes ok so now pro first person le nôtre le nôtre la nôtre le nôtre la nôtre les nôtres and feminine is the same les nôtres second person which is also the form de politesse which in which is the, which is our case so le vôtre la vôtre les vôtres and same thing feminine there's no distinction les vôtres and the third person le leur la leur les leur and the same les leur ok so let's do an example let's do an example probably at the bottom so ce n'est pas mon chien c'est so c'est ton chien so that would be adjective possessive here so if you don't want to repeat chien you don't say c'est ton chien you say c'est le tien so this case here ok so here uh, so c'est ton chien so the one that poss possesses the dog is second person singular and what is possessed le chien is singular masculine ok so uh, let's do another one ce n'est pas ma voiture Let's do C leur voiture. So 
so seller voiture here I'm, here I'm using the adjective possessive so I'm repeating voiture seller voiture so leur means uh, it's the third person plural this one third person plural so who, who possesses who possesses the car it's them so it's the third person plural and what is what is possessed is uh, this one this guy singular feminine so if you want to not repeat voiture you use the pronoun so c'est la leur okay so in spoken uh, french this one i gotta say i don't think it's used that much because it does sound a bit uh, it sounds a bit uh, strange but i mean i mean the only uh, purpose of the pronoun is that you don't repeat the, the noun okay so you don't repeat it so le leur la leur les leurs les leurs uh, it's not something you hear every day let's put it that way okay so i think uh, I might do a more example. I can do more example. Okay, so ce n'est pas ce n'est pas mon livre. Ce n'est pas mon livre. It's not my book. Uh, C'est c'est le sien for instance okay so this is the pronoun possessif but so if you want to uh, use the uh, adjective possessif plus noun it would be c'est son livre so who is the poss poss possessor is is a il or elle so it's a third person singular so and what is being possessed 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 is a livre the book so this is a singular masculine so that's why you get le sien that's why it's le sien so if you go back to the table it's this one so third person third person singular masculine le sien so <coughs> let me make that clear here because so this is if you look at a grammar french grammar here you would, it would say celui celui qui celui qui possède i'm gonna put it here celui qui possède the one that owns or possesses poss I cannot say it possesses the one that o owns and here that old thing here that would be what is what is being what is being owned or possessed owned or possessed that's a w here what is being owned so if i go back to ce n'est pas mon chien c'est le tien uh, so because here ton ton so it has to be the one that owns the dog is singular second person so you look at this line and chien the dog is uh, singular masculine so it's here okay i know it's a uh, it's a lot of uh, things to remember but that's the way it is unfortunately when compared to english french is a little bit more complicated i would say so anyway uh, so if you like i'm gonna stop here um, if you like that kind of content please uh let me know in a comment I will make uh, I will make more videos for sure. 
All right. Bye.